Hey guys, what up? Nathan here again. Tim giving you another Minecraft tutorial. This is how to make a redstone drawbridge. This is one I made up quickly. This is a redstone showing. No, it lifts it up. You can't go to lava. But to be honest, it's kind of worthless and crap because, as I said, you could just break one piece. It'd be worthless. And that's what I mean. So I've made a more detailed one, and you can hide it. This one works by trapdoors there. Just turn a bit of redstone, lift it up, and it goes. You can like find it if you're like just a bit of redstone. You can find that do it with one lever and hide that. It's just I'm only making a quick video, but it still works so much better. This is the redstone behind it. Just a simple pattern, mimicking each side. And now I'm gonna show you how to make it. So let's begin. You wanna um, do five across, or how much like long? But I'm recommending five. Leave a two block space for the trap doors, and then do two blocks like so, that, like two height, and just do that on both sides. See so yeah, it once you've done that, you want to put some trap doors down now. But before you do that, sorry I forgot, you need to cut off the end bits and then put one in the middle and then put redstone torches down. So just like that. <coughs> and put them in the blocks that you've broken. So now it's done that you put trap doors. If some open, some break, just keep placing them down to the eye. It's just because they will fix when the redstone like it's all connected and then you just go and push them out and they'll work fine. That's the only problem really, which is quite annoying. But yeah, that'll fix afterwards. So yeah, so that's the trap doors done. Now it's on the redstone. You want to leave a block on the blocks there next to the redstone torches, which don't have them. You leave a block like that. Put one, then leave a block, sorry, and then put two high, and then one at the back. So it's like that. So you put one, leave a space, two up, and then one at the back. Once you've done that, you want to dig one block down across. So it all leads to the redstone torches. And then with your redstone, you just want to connect that all up. So yeah guys, once you've done that, you put redstone torches in the front places of the two block kites behind, so it's like that. And now if you get a redstone, um, if you just get um, a lever or something, you'll see by doing that, it works. Down, and then put it up, and it goes up. And then as you see then, you can just push them up no problem and it will work. So that's one side done. If I just do that now, get rid of it. I'll go and do the other side now, actually. So guys, sorry, there's another thing I did while I was doing the other side. I forgot you have to put redstone on the blocks behind, which are one block high, and on the top. That just connects the redstone torches, so like that. And you don't have to add anything on, it's just like a little closed circuit. So about that goes. So guys, once both sides have been done, just so it covers it up a bit now, you need to put like quite like two blocks high at least, like stairs. I'm not gonna bother with fent like wooden stairs, but like just cover it up like that. Because I say if it's leading into a castle or leading to a house, it's not like this is gonna mean everyone will see it because it'll be all covered up by like a massive wall of wood or stone or whatever you want to use. So you want to make some redstone leading to it. Don't put it so it um. Anyway, near redstone, so that will make it active. And you just want to do that and put torches down. And do it on both sides. You can try, as I said, this one I'm at is actually wrong for one torch. But you can figure it out, it's just I'm only doing this demonstration today. So, yeah. Guys, I've just done that, I fixed it. There's two levers now. If you pull one, one goes up, you pull the other, one goes up. You can, um, that's most of the whole tutorial, really. You can just cover it up. I said you'll go across, that will lead into another section of the house or whatever you're doing. The redstone's quite easy behind it, and it's quite easy to cover up this way. So that's kind of the main tutorial, guys. I said you can just um, maybe dig deeper so you can fall down, you can do lava. Water, watch out, make sure the redstone's covered if you're doing that, and um, you dig lava, watch here. So, guys, don't bother using this design because you, you can just break a bit and it'll be broken. Thanks for watching, see you later.